Daily Words of God The only attitude that a created being should have to its Creator is one of obedience, one of unconditional obedience. This is something that some people today may be unable to accept. They say, how can this be unconditional? God's words always have to be reasonable, and He always has to have a reason for doing things. God always has to give people a way to survive. He always has to act reasonably and fairly, and He cannot ignore human feelings. If you are able to utter these words, and you in fact think this way, well, you are far from being able to obey God. While man is provided for and watered by the Word of God, man is, in fact, preparing for a single thing. What might that thing be? It is ultimately to be able to achieve unconditional, absolute submission to God, at which point, you, this creation, will have reached the standard required. Sometimes, God deliberately does things that are at odds with your notions, which go against what you want, or which even appear to go against principles, or against human feelings, humanity, or sentiments, leaving you unable to accept them and unable to understand. Whichever way you look at it, it does not seem right. You simply cannot accept it, and you feel that what He has done is simply unreasonable. So what is God's purpose in doing these things? It is to test you. You need not discuss the hows and whys of what God has done. All you need do is maintain your faith that He is the truth, and recognize that He is your Creator, that He is your God. This is higher than all truth, higher than all worldly wisdom, than man's so-called morality, ethics, knowledge, education, philosophy, or traditional culture. And it is even higher than affection or comradeship, or so-called love between people. It is higher than absolutely anything else. If you cannot understand this, then sooner or later, when something happens to you, you are liable to rebel against God and go astray before finally repenting and recognizing the loveliness of God and recognizing the meaning of the work that God performs on you. Or, even worse, you might trip and fall because of it. Regardless of how long a person has believed in God, how long the road they have traveled along, how much work they have done, and how many duties they have performed. This time has all been preparing them for a single thing. For you to ultimately be able to achieve unconditional, absolute submission to God. So what does unconditional mean? It means ignoring your personal justifications, ignoring your objective reasoning, and not bickering over anything. You are a created being, and you are not worthy. When you bicker with God, you are in the wrong position. When you attempt to justify yourself to God, once again, you are in the wrong position. When you argue with God, when you want to ask the reason why, 
to figure out what is actually happening. If you cannot obey without first understanding and will only submit once everything is clear to you, you are once again in the wrong position. When the position you are in is wrong, is your obedience to God absolute? Are you or are you not a created being in God's mind? Are you treating God as God should be treated? As the Lord of all creation? No, you are not. In which case, God does not recognize you. What things can enable you to achieve absolute, unconditional obedience to God? How can this be experienced? On the one hand, a bit of the conscience and sense of normal humanity is required. On the other, as you fulfill your duties, each and every aspect of the truth must be understood so that you may understand God's will. Sometimes man's caliber falls short and man does not have the strength or the energy to understand all truths. There is one thing, however, regardless of the environment, people, events, and things that come upon you and that God has arranged, you must always have an obedient attitude. Do not ask the reason why. You must have this attitude. If even this attitude is beyond you, and you are perpetually ready with, I have to consider whether what God is doing is really righteous. They say God is love. Well, let's see if there is love in what he is doing with me, and if this is actually love. If you are always examining whether what God is doing satisfies all standards, looking at whether what God is doing is what you like, or even whether it complies with what you believe to be the truth, then your position is wrong and this will bring you trouble.